Okay, my friends, here it is. The video that is going to show you the ultimate slug solution. So, I'm going to say a few things about it, and then I'm going to take you out and show you exactly how to make this, and then how to use this wonderful solution. So, maybe you are at the point in the season where you have become disheartened because your crops are becoming decimated by slugs. Now, here's the thing. Slug damage can take two forms. One, it can be what you see on the leaves. Uh, it looks like um, c kind of it starts to wear the leaves thin. I I'll show you um, exact footage here in just a moment, but it kind of le uh, wears the leaves thin and it makes holes in the leaves. Now, that's slug damage on the leaf of the plant itself. But here is that, and that's bad, but here's actually a much worse type of slug damage, and it's this that when we plant our seeds, the things that we direct sow into the ground, like the peas and the squash and the cucumbers and things like that, they when they come above the soil surface, the the plant, just as it's pushing above the soil surface, will be very, very tender, that part of the plant. And so the slug knows this. And so it will go through and with its razor sharp teeth will mow down that part of the seedling as it is emerging. And the seed will abort because that's death for the seed and so it happens so many times and i know this because i experienced it a number of years and a lot of other people i know are experiencing it is that the you will be you'll plant the seeds and you'll be waiting for the seeds to come up you'll be like man i planted these pea seeds or i planted these squash seeds but yet nothing's happening what's the problem so i must have got bad seeds you didn't actually get bad seeds what happens is that they got annihilated by the slugs and so this has happened on to me where the slugs go and just mow down an entire row of uh, peas that are just emerging. And so none of the peas come up and I'm like, thinking, what? The? But then you go out there at night with a headlamp and you can see. So to see for yourself, go out there and, at night with the headlamp on or a flashlight and look for the uh, slimy trails that the slugs leave because they scoot around on a cushion of slime and it leaves like a metallic sort of uh, trail behind it. And that's how you can tell, okay, that's slug activity. And then you'll also see them directly on the plant. And so we must take care of these because like right now, some seasons are worse than others. Some season, like a past couple of seasons, I haven't even had to use this solution, but this year I will because there's thousands of tiny little baby slugs as I'll show you in a moment. Let us get into it and I will show you exactly how to make this a wonderfully powerful solution, but then we will come back and I will tell you exactly how to use it and what other things you can utilize this for. Okay, my friends, first step, we have to assess if we are getting slug damage. So here is what slug damage looks like. And this is the Chinese cabbage that have just become decimated by the slugs. And you can see because it looks like Swiss cheese and they just, with their razor sharp teeth, go across and mow these holes into the uh, leaf. And that is not good for the plant. It stresses the plant out really heavily. And so we need to do something about this. Uh, when you look over here at the um, slightly better Chinese cabbage that are a little bit further along, even though it's the middle of the daytime, always look to the center of the plant. And there we go. Do you see this? Let it come into focus. And there we go. Thousands of these tiny little baby slugs have hatched and they are devouring the plants because all these things want to do is eat. That's it. They just want to eat and get bigger. And so their parents uh, and these ones are the ones making all the holes all over the place. Look at the underside of the leaf for them. And up, oh, yep, see, there's another one. And there's actually another one even behind this. And so this represents a major problem for us. And so we must make this solution as follows. So we begin by taking two small garlic bulbs, or one large bulb, and we want to extract a compound called allicin. And allicin is not actually in the garlic yet. We need to activate it with water and oxidation. And so we're going to put it into the blender, and we're going to blend it up, uh, liquefied for about 10 seconds. And then we are going to let it sit for 30 minutes. And during this 30-minute process, the uh, enzyme alanase is going to activate the allicin and so we must let it sit now we are going to after 30 minutes filter it out really good i take a strainer but then i also take a paper towel because you see all that good potent garlic oil is in there but we do not want any of the solids because that is going to clog up our drip em uh, our uh, spray emitters on the bottle or the backpack sprayer so we've got this super concentrated pungent stuff and we want to pour the entire thing into a one gallon pump sprayer. So this recipe is for one gallon. 
Next thing we're going to use is the JDOM wetting agent. Now, I've made a video showing you guys how to make this, so I highly recommend it because it is much more effective than the Dr. Bronner's. Although that can be used, this is far more effective. So, utilize two ounces of the JDOM wetting agent. And then we are going to fill up to the one gallon mark with the water. So, add the water now because next step is that we're going to add the sodium hydroxide and this is going to be the same stuff that we utilized for making the JDOM sulfur. The sodium hydroxide also goes by the name of lye crystals and it can be used to open drains but when if you're using this form this type of it this packaging you must make sure that the only ingredient is the 99 percent pure uh, sodium hydroxide and so we are only going to utilize two teaspoons of this sodium hydroxide not tablespoons two teaspoons which is only 10 milliliters and we're going to put that into the uh, gallon and then we're going to put the lid on and shake it up really well now we want to give it about 10 minutes to dissolve we're going to shake it up and uh, now it is ready to go okay so that is how you make this secret solution which isn't much of a secret anymore now is it so some things are important number one we must give the the um, garlic time to set because it is only then that the allicin is activated by the enzyme alice allicinase i believe is the enzyme name and it is only activated once it becomes combined with water and air and so that's very important leave it for the 30 minutes and then we use it and the allicin will stay active for about two days. So you have about two days in total to use this solution where it's still going to be very effective. Now, how do we use this? Very important, my friends. Listen up. And we only spray this at nighttime. If we spray this in the daytime or even in the morning time, it's going to burn the plants uh, when the sun comes out because it's very it, it creates a phototoxic effect. So we must spray it in the evening time. Uh, at the night time, that will give it plenty of time, and that's when the slugs are out anyways. So we want to spray it. We want to get it on direct contact with the slug because that's the only way that it's going to work. Or, or also if the slug crawls into it and it's on the leaf. That's why we spray it at night because it stays on the leaf all night long for the most part. So personally, I prefer this method way over the like sluggo, the baits and stuff like that because the earthworms, the giant earthworms that come out at nighttime will also feed on those slug bait pellets and they will also die. We do not want that. And so this solution, you can apply it directly and only where it is required. Now this solution will irritate the earthworms as well, but only if you spray it directly on them. So stomp around a little bit so all the earthworms go back into the hole and then you can spray for the slugs and then everything is fine. After just a day or two, all these ingredients break down and they uh, become like a fertilizer for the soil. That's why everything that is utilized in here is allowable under certified organic farming. This is certifiably organic. Now here's the ultra secret, my friends. This stuff will also annihilate aphids and cabbage worms and also the larval stage of the vine borer the squash vine borer and the eggs of most of the creatures because virtually anything that is soft bodied this solution is going to dissolve it and i mean like vaporize it and so uh but yet it does no harm whatsoever to the plant it's really an amazing recipe so there you go my friends use this solution responsibly do we do not need to kill the leopard slugs or anything like that this is only for those super detrimental gray ones that are decimating the crop okay or whatever else you determine is necessary so that's pretty much it my friends if you feel like you gained something from the video give it a thumbs up also share the video to all your facebook groups or with anyone that you think can benefit from this knowledge we're trying to grow the channel because we love growing stuff here so also check out the garden like a viking instagram account where i'm making posts and reels and stuff about things i don't want to make a whole video a whole youtube video about also every saturday at 12 noon eastern time we have a live q a right here on this channel and I will direct you to this video here if you would like to learn how to make the JDOM wetting agent, which is vital to the success of this solution and many other pesticide solutions.